John, can you give us uh, an update on JVR's status? And how surgery long will you, Friday. How long will you be out? We'll find more out after surgery. Oh, in his left hand, I'm assuming? I don't even know what hand it is. It's a finger. It's a finger. Broken finger. finger. Um, obviously, wrist align and, and tip were out on the ice today. Do you have an update on their status? Risto went through the whole practice. Uh, haven't talked to the trainer since practice has been over. Um, tip feels great. He's just got to pass the protocol. Um, so we'll we'll just see. What does the loss of JVR do to the line? He's obviously up to a good storm. Yeah, I, I think he's played really well. Uh, I think he's played hard. Uh, I think there's been a little black cloud hanging over him with a lot of people of what he is and what type of player he is. I think he's played really well right from the start of the season. Um, hurts, hurts our power play, hurts some of the balance of your lines. Uh, he's been a good player. Nothing we can do about it now. You said that you'll know more after the surgery. Is this something that could be season ending? Is it? That I don't surgery? think so. No, I don't think so. I, I'm, you know, I, I'm no doctor. I'm hoping a month. You know, that, that's a that's a thing. I'll th I, I don't know why I'm throwing it out there because I really don't know. But I don't think it's season ending. I'll put it to you that way. So get rid of that month thing. <laughs> so now that, now that we know JVR is going to be a month, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, saying on the injury team, if we can, is, do you have any kind of update on Cam Atkinson, or is that? Status quo. Okay. Yep. Just trying to find his way. So with so, you guys out, you had to rework the lines. What went into the lines that you put out there today? I just put some lines together. You and I have had this conversation before, haven't we, as far as put, <laughs> putting it against the wall? and. Uh, no, I I wanted to get back to to uh, Hazy and and that line there with with Beezer and TK uh, may may use uh, uh, Katie on left wing with lots. Just see if we can get him relaxed a little bit. Maybe he can score a goal. I, I just want to try to help his confidence. I think he's I think he's his play just hasn't been totally there. So we may put him to left wing with lots. I want to get Tip right into it. You know, I think Tip was playing very well. Uh, uh, you know, I only, he's only played a few minutes, but I think his camp was going in the right direction. Um, want to get him in a in a top six type situation because that's that's kind of how the frigging went with the lines. Going back to uh, Cam Atkins for a second. Obviously, you weren't here last year, but the Ryan Ellis situation last year kind of went from day to day to week to week, and then he just really never came yeah. back. Is there concern with Cam that this could linger for the whole year? No, nah, no. I, I talked to Cam this morning. I don't think so. Uh, I, I just think it's just a matter of him feeling comfortable enough to get on. And, um, you know, he, he's as frustrated as anybody. I, I think it is kind of the – I know Ryan was very frustrated last year too. But I, I just don't see it going that, down that road. I Again, I, I, I don't know what else to say on it. I'm going to leave it up to him. I, I – the guy wants to play. I, I know him so well. He, he's played through so many injuries with me. It's legit that he, he just doesn't feel comfortable. And I know run, once that that door cracks and he says, I feel ready to go, I think he's going to jump right in. Bruce Lyon, you haven't have not. You also practiced in Florida. I guess what is your sense of when he could potentially be ready to return? Yeah, I would think if he gets through a couple of days of practices here without any problems, I, I would I would figure he'd be in the lineup. So we'll see what happens after tomorrow's practice and assess from there. Igor Zola has been in the lineup just lining out. Um, what have you made of his first? Who? Igor Zola. Is that his first name? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just call him Z. I, no, I'm really. <laughs> um, I think he's. Uh, I think he's shown tremendous improvement. He'll make he'll make some mistakes that you notice, but he's also very good with the puck. Uh, I he, he's one that I, I just want to continue with, and because uh, I when you start seeing improvement with that size and and a defenseman that sees the ice, um, that's really that's really good. So I I like his personality. I, I he's very coachable, uh, trying to get the big ones out of his game. Uh, uh, but that's part of the process when you're develop, developing a young defenseman, and uh, so I, I'm, I, I just like where he's gone since since he's been playing with us, playing these games. How do you navigate that competition then? For yeah, I don't know. 
I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm going to do there because I, I, I really don't think any of the defensemen should be out. Uh, you know, do I rotate some guys? Do I play seven? I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm going to cross that bridge when I know I get a full health report on Risto after tomorrow's practice. Is he ready to play? And then we'll make our call then. You saw Risto line a lot from afar as an opposing head coach. It seems like he plays kind of nasty brand of defense. What did you always see in him? And will you welcome his physicality when he does get back? Yeah, yeah. I, I think that's a big part of his being. He's a big body and, and is willing to get involved. I, uh, I, I want him to understand our coverages, our, the way we play defense. Uh, I, I think the biggest thing is I, um, I, I don't want him just looking for the big hits. I think you start looking for big hits as a defenseman, you end up on the outside. And that's when people start coming through you. I, I, I want the physicality, but I also want some patience and positioning in his game. Uh, so that's something where he, I, I, when he does play, if he does, he's going to be revved up and – I'm sure that's going to be something we're going to have to calm him down a little bit, looking for those hits. Uh, I, I, we'll work with him. I, I, um, an, another big body. Uh, uh, haven't seen him. You know, I didn't really concentrate too much on him when he was playing with other teams, but heard some really good things out here from the reports I get from Chuck and the staff. So I'm anxious to see him play. John, you've, uh, from the start of camp, you've talked about accountability, holding guys to a standard. Obviously, on Sunday, you sat Konechny and Hayes for the third period. With regards to something like that, you know, after a day off, do you address that with them today, or is it just the pages turned? New day. I, I, I had that page turn after the game. I, I decided, and I know people like to call it benching, or I, I don't know what you call it. I just decided to go with the six lines, and uh, and I, I really, I mean, the six, uh, excuse me, uh, the nine forwards, and the three lines, and I thought they gave us some juice. I. I I just felt, uh, you know, Kevin and, and TK, in TK's game, I thought was a little bit of struggle in Nashville. And it, and it struggled with some turnovers in uh, our, our game against San Jose. I just felt they, they just weren't going. So I went with, uh, James was out, I just went with the, the nine forwards. And I liked the way we played. Uh, I'd like to see some guys score some goals when they get some chances. You know, that's, that's, the, that's the thing. I, I thought some guys played hard, had some chances, but we need to get some finish. And, uh, gave me an opportunity to look at some guys get some big minutes and kind of interested in, in some guys that did get more minutes, they played better. So those are things I've got to think about when I get into that situation. But that, that page is turned. That page was turned after the game. You, you mentioned Before it now. the season, he said that you think a little bit of conflict can help build a team. I guess, I don't know if you want to call that conflict, but how did you see them respond and the team respond to that? Message? Yeah, they, they've, they practiced well today, and I don't consider it conflict. I, I consider it a coach's decision, and uh, if players want to come in and talk to me about it, they can come and talk to me about it. I, I don't get all, I think people get all amped up about it. It, it isn't a, it, it's a, it's a day at the office that I have to make a decision during a game, and that's what I did, and, but then we move right by it. There are two players that have played very well for us this year. I, 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 I don't forget that. But I still have to make calls as we're going in, into these games and during the games. And that, that was my call, right or wrong. And, and we get back at it here again today. We're fine. You mentioned about uh, no, finishing, you know, that, yeah. that you'd like to see more guys finish. I guess with regards to something like that, though, how much of that is bearing down and how much of that is just some guys aren't as good at finishing as others? Both. I consider both. And, and it's not a criticism, but some guys just don't finish as well as others. And uh, others have... Uh, when they're not that type of player as far as the skill and finishing, they got to find ways to manufacture goals on their own and, and grind away and, and bang away. You know, I, look at, I look at Frosty. Frosty's had a couple of great chances in the past couple of games. You know, if, if you're not going to be a great checker and, and if you're not going to be fighting or you're not going to do this, that, the other thing, you better do something to your strengths. That's, your, that's goal scoring. And Frosty is one of those guys that can do that. He needs to bury those chances. Uh, uh, other guys, uh, I thought Laz played really well uh, when when he got when we went to three lines. It was on the ice more, uh, but they, as I said, we got to score by committee, and, and by committee that means committee means everybody. I think right, and that includes them. And so hopefully, uh, it's not putting pressure on them. It is what it is. That's who we are. And uh, uh, I'm hoping some guys through the extra minutes gain some confidence because they should have. Because I thought they played a good third period. See where it goes. In the power play with JVR out, will you try to like substitute 
one guy into that role? Lots will probably go there. Lots will probably go there. And if tip plays, uh, you know, we got a couple of decisions to make as far as how that all sorts out. But we got to figure out if tip's ready to go or passes the protocol, and we'll make our call then. Do you have to kind of reconfigure this at all? Or do nah. Stay the same? No, the, 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 the power play itself and how Rocky's teaching it uh, will we'll stay the same. It's just placing a body here or there with the injuries and with Tip coming back. I want to get Tip involved in one. Uh, I want to try to get his shot going. Uh, but as far as the philosophy of, of what our power play is, that won't change.